for a long time my interest in, in theater and in opera was to apply cinematic perspectives. A visual experience that, were, that is almost exclusively um, perceived in film. So, uh, you know, camera pans and zooms in, pans back and, and so forth, aerial shots. I found that applying that to a theatrical experience is, is sort of disorienting and pleasurable. I worked with um, Ada Whitney and Marcelo Cardozo and her team at Beehive to create these environments that the whole production exists within to render you know, ancient Egypt in the desert, not just as a backdrop, but to create the effect of, of essentially putting the audience in the camera. It's a pretty monumental task we took on here because we created uh, two and a half hours of content for the screens that play um, basically through the full opera. What the screen does is it, it's interesting, it moves in and out of um, a tangible reality throughout the piece where we see really great expanses of deserts. But then we move away from that into these very abstract moments. We wanted to create a world that was real but not real. Um, so there was a, there's a painterly quality to what you'll see in all of the real landscape um, scenes as opposed to the abstractions. He decided in the beginning that not to work from a place of um, necessarily grounded in reality but in spirituality. It just took it beyond the traditional story and what you expected of the Exodus and it really tapped into the idea of the spirit and light and since we were using an LED screen the two things just seemed like this perfect kind of coming together of um, technology, art, and uh, message. The other element of the story of, of Moses and the exodus from, from Egypt and the story of the Pharaoh and all those things, that definition included the 1956 Charlton Heston Ten Commandments epic Hollywood drama. When Michael first came to me and we were sitting down talking about, you know, the, the big, his big vision for it, he, at the end of the conversation I was like really excited and he said, and of course you know you're going to have to part the Red Sea. I'm an artist, not just a designer, so my background, um, I started in painting and installations and really I looked at a lot of art. I looked to Turner and Sassetta. We couldn't just go out and use what we shot. There was a lot of research and design that went into a mix of using um, elements that we shot, uh, still photography, and computer effects. Technically what was very challenging was because we're using the video in a very cinematic way, the coordination of the cues of what's happening on the stage and what's happening in the video is very complex because there's a turntable on the stage and people are walking and the video's moving and the camera's turning in the, in, in the video. So it's really big and it's cinematic, but it's also technically like very exacting. The complexity of doing what we've done and creating these, you know, 3D, CG environments, um, creating the effect of the camera pans. I don't think I would have known at the outset uh, just you know how, um, how challenging it would be. People come with a set of expectations. Um, you say opera, you know, for, for many people it means something s specific. I think the challenge of opera today and opera companies is to reinvent opera. So I really wanted to create a production that defy those expectations that had a certain visual complexity and sophistication. Although we're doing something that's not traditional in the, in the opera world, we really don't leave the essence of the story and the emotion and the guts of the piece at all. It really connects to the music and to what's happening on stage and reinforces um, Rossini's vision. It's, it's epic. I mean, it's awesome. It's like you watch and you're like, you know, it's, it's incredible.